Hi folks, this is your MWIS Friday Planner in association with Ellis Brigham. Now I'm sure you're aware that there is some very dramatic weather on the way into the start of next week as exceptionally hot air is drawn northwards across the British Isles. The focus of that into Scotland is for Tuesday but across England and Wales both Monday and Tuesday are going to bring record threatening temperatures. Before we get to that a reasonable weekend a mixture of some cloud and some local drizzle but a lot of fair weather in the story. Eventually, by the time we get to midweek, the heat has gone and we're back to more typical summer values. Let's look at the weekend. First of all, though, and this is Saturday, high pressure is across the British Isles. We have some fronts skirting toward the north and that responsible for some drizzly rain and a few drizzly showers coming in to western coastal hills in Scotland, where banks of low cloud will be rather stubborn on those western mountains. Away from these areas, any early cloud banks should lift and break, and it's uh, some sunshine around, but some high-level cloud may just be in the sky at times. Sunnier overall across England and Wales, not too much wind around here. We do have a stronger breeze, though, from the southwest across the highlands, particularly in the far north and northwest we're very gusty at times the breeze just freshening a touch too across northern england as the day goes on temperatures on saturday then are fairly pleasant overall just to run the sequence onwards through saturday evening and into early sunday this chart shows the rainfall and the cloud extent a lot of this cloud that's shown here is very high level stuff so uh, only some western coastal hills in Scotland generally being shrouded by any low cloud. Most of the cloud is higher up, but there is some rain that will be around into Saturday evening and overnight uh, across England and Wales, mostly just spits and spots really from that high cloud, but something a bit steadier for a while running in across Scotland through to dawn on Sunday. Some heavier falls possible for a while, but that tending to fizzle out and again just becoming spits and spots as the morning goes on. And most of it clearing away, but some drizzly patchy rain may just linger for periods across northern parts of Scotland. The mount's generally small, but could just lead to some damp conditions for a while. And again, a fair amount of high level cloud could be quite extensive across the country, but fairly thin for England and Wales. So some very warm sunshine develops here. That's how the chart looks for Sunday. There's the trailing front just toward the north, producing that uh, risk of some patchy rain at times. High pressure centred just to the east of us, allowing the airflow to start to be drawn in from the south and temperatures then rising. By this stage, it's really just a pleasantly very warm summer's day with values in the valleys across England and Wales into the high 20s, a few spots nudging towards 30 degrees as we head through the afternoon. Pleasant temperatures across Scotland. We do have quite a gusty south to southwesterly wind that may well increase as the day goes on, particularly for England and Wales, and quite breezy too generally for the northern hills in Scotland. Into Monday, and this is where the extremely hot temperatures do take hold, focused across England and Wales. We have high pressure centred just to the east of us, low pressure around the Bay of Biscay, drawing in that airflow then directly from the south. Not too much wind around, but locally could be gusty in places. Valley temperatures then across the Peak District and around mid Wales likely rising into the mid 30s Celsius and widely I suspect topping 30 degrees across northern England and the south of Scotland. Around the central belt into the high 20s I suspect around 28 Celsius here. Not quite as hot further north across the highlands but still a very warm summer's day with some extensive strong sunshine. Just to really reinforce the temperature story, now this chart is one of our forecasting model simulations. Now this is representative of around 700 to 800 metres in elevation. Hopefully you can just about make out a faint background of the British Isles on this map. It's the temperature situation for Monday evening and this indicating then that temperatures at that height, so we're looking at almost mountain top levels around the Lake District and across Wales, uh, you'd be suggesting values at that level of around 25 to 28 Celsius. And just look as we go into the overnight hours into Tuesday, these are temperatures that would exist through the night across the mountains into the high 20s Celsius across England and Wales. That's at around 750 to 800 metres. You'd be in the high 20s Celsius through the night extremely hot temperatures then would be experienced even up on the mountains. 
That hot air drawn northwards towards Scotland into early Tuesday, not quite seeing the very highest of those values into the highlands, but nevertheless, I suspect during Tuesday daytime, uh, values up onto the Munros likely to get to around 20 degrees or possibly higher in places. Look how things change though very quickly from the west as we head into Tuesday evening and night as those temperatures then start to come down and as we're just going to run this story on into the start of Wednesday uh, temperatures at around 700 meters or so are back down to only around 12 celsius across Snowdonia and likewise similar further north as well and for Wednesday daytime you could well be back into single figures. A remarkable sequence of weather then shaping up through Tuesday. This is probably where the final peak of the heat does take place. It's a very complicated looking chart, but basically it's a very slack pressure pattern. Lowering pressure coming in from the southwest is bringing the eventual change, but the existing heat that's already there will build again through the day and a hotter day across the highlands of Scotland is likely as that heat has wafted further northwards by this stage. Temperatures in some of the glens could be well into the 30s by this time. The wind may well vary. It could be very strong and gusty, even gusting gale force around some of the hills at times through Tuesday. That could be quite a variable story. High cloud amounts will be crucial in terms of just in terms of the very highest temperatures that do develop. And that high cloud also could start to see the change into a thundery breakdown. The potential for some thunderstorms breaking out in a very hit and miss manner from the southwest later on in the day and onwards into Tuesday night as eventually the fronts to the west bring the change of pattern. Hopefully the message is pretty clear through this period as a whole then that there are serious health concerns as a result of these temperatures, dehydration, sunstroke, heat exhaustion, all to be taken very seriously through this time. For Wednesday daytime then, low pressure is moving across the country. The risk of some very strong winds being around as that system moves through and some thunderstorms or some heavy areas of rain associated with those fronts could well be in the story. Detail is very sketchy, it must be said, how this plays out. But that's the breakdown, that's the change and a much, much cooler day by this time. High pressure to the southwest, following that tending to build and settle things down again. The general story then for the later part of the week is that that high pressure to the southwest is trying to build in once more. We're back to fairly normal summertime conditions by this stage uh, with maybe a fine day to come heading into Thursday. Just watching though how soon the next area of low pressure over the Atlantic does move in. That brings the risk of some showers or some rain later on in the week. The pattern is somewhat uncertain it must be said by this stage but maybe just the idea of some showery conditions being in the forecast later on. Uh, possibly an improvement heading to toward the weekend but we're watching in the longer term for lowering pressure over the North Atlantic. The indication then into the final week of July is that that low pressure will start to dominate and bring more mixed or unsettled conditions. It just depends how far towards Britain that low pressure moves in. If it sits just to the west of us then some places particularly further south and east could stay more often dry but we'd expect a more changeable and fresher story to the weather pattern through this time. Southern regions may see some warm days further north and west more often on the cooler side. As always, you can stay right up to date with your local details every day on our website. That is your Friday Planner in association with Ellis Brigham. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.